Hey guys, Mega Moth Bolt Fishing here. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the line spools in your Mega Moth reel. I've got a spool of our 200 pound line here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna release my lever lock here. Slide that rod out. Take off my thumb screw. Slide the reel off the bolt completely. I'm gonna set that bow aside. All right, so then what we're gonna do here, get some of that slack line up. I'm gonna take the cone off. We've got this front nut right here. I'm gonna loosen him. Completely take him off of there. Okay. That is gonna allow you to pull out your through shaft here. That is gonna be able to come right off of there. Front line deflector. Okay, and those springs are gonna stay right on those poles so you don't have to worry about those springs going all over the place. All right, then usually I'll take a needle nose pliers here. There's an E-clip that we gotta take off of this rear deflector. Pop him off of there. Make sure you don't lose that E-clip. Rear deflector comes off. Now you're down to your line spool. One thing you gotta do is you gotta pop that line spool bearing out of the old line spool. Okay, grab your new one here. Pop him right back in there. You wanna make sure that that inner race is spinning nice and freely. That's gonna help your reel operate smoothly. All right, now we're just gonna reassemble. Slide that line spool bearing right back onto the transmission there. Rear line deflector, they are keyed, so they're only going to fit on there one way. Slide them on. The clip goes into a little groove here. Usually I press him on with a needle nose. Okay. Front line deflector. Good to go. T-bar reinserted. Tighten up that little nut. Feed the line through your cone. Slap that back onto your bow, tie yourself on an arrow, and you're ready to shoot some fish.